Hey, it's Tavy. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make lace gift bags. I use this in my Byzantine Queen headband tutorial video, but they're really the cutest thing to give gifts this time of year. Wouldn't you agree? Okay, let's get started. Here are some of the things that you're going to need to make this lace gift bag by yourself. The pattern is very easy. Just make a square, but follow the measurements that I have on the screen. Make sure you fold your lace in half and lay it flat on the surface of any table that you have for cutting. Line your pattern up on the lace by the fold and pin it in place. Simply cut it out. Once your lace bag is cut out, you're pretty much halfway there. If you have an overlock machine, now is the perfect time to sew a straight line on either side of the bag. You can use a regular sewing machine for this too, I just think the overlock machine makes it cleaner and more professional. On one side of the bag, you're going to actually leave open about one inch from the top of the bag because you're going to need that for your casing. Overlock the top of the bag along the edge for a clean finish before finishing the bag. Fold that finish edge down one whole inch and then stitch along the bottom. This will create the casing for your ribbon. For this next stage, you don't actually need a ribbon this wide to create your ribbon for the bag. This is all I had in my room. If you have ribbon this wide, you're going to have to fold it down the way that I am and iron it flat and then stitch it close along the edge to make it about one fourth of an inch. When your ribbon is completely sewn together or if you have any ribbon that you're ready to put into your bag, simply get a safety pin and connect it at the end and then run it through the casing that you created on your bag.
Okay, now you're all done. Look how beautiful it is. I really love this lace bag because it's perfect for gifts, it's perfect for your jewelry, it's perfect for keeping any type of special items that you covet in there. And it just looks really good. The color red is beautiful and I thought this was the perfect tutorial for this time of year. If you like this tutorial, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you never miss a day when I post. See you next time. Bye.